Dreams. You. Might have. Nest. The game I have chosen today is The Fourth Station by The Big Pier. Now, this was originally launched back in April 2020 and it was put into my pick of the week at the time but the game that i put in then and the game that is available now are worlds apart so the big peer has been updating this game constantly and the last update was uh, april this year so he's had updates throughout the entire year and the game is massive compared to what it was when it first launched now it currently has only 411 thumbs up but with only 753 dreamers playing it that's a 54 percent approval rate which is not too bad um, and it is featured in 25 collections most of these being my favorite games games to look at that type of uh thing um he did put it into a game jam which is uh good for promotion but it wasn't made for the game jam and that might have affected uh his position but he did make it into the top 25 percent it's not an MM pick. It has never had any MPE nominations or wins. And it is a work in progress. It's not a completed game. However, um, there is an awful lot of game there, which is why I am recommending you take a look. Now, the genre of the game is adventure. And um, it features a character uh, that looks like Edgar Allan Poe. Now, it's not clear whether he is actually Poe, um, but there is a bit at the beginning where there is a audio voiceover of someone reading The Raven. Now, I believe it's Christopher Lee. That's what it sounds like to me. And that's probably what it sounds like to Media Molecule as well. It's clearly a professional actor and, and is an audio recording that has been put into Dreams. Now, this is against the T's and C's and this is why i think this game has not achieved an mm pick also um the reason why i think it's got such low thumbs up is because when the game originally launched which is when you get your majority of your thumbs up it was a very short little demo it was interesting but it was um far from com from complete and there were some ideas in there that they, they've actually thrown out since and I think uh, for, for that reason, because um, the game is big now, but nobody really knows about it because um, the only things that are promoted in Dreams are the new things. Anything older than four weeks, the only place that you're going to find it is in the Media Molecule curated playlists. And if you have got copyright material, you are never going to feature in the Media Molecule curated playlists. So your game is completely invisible unless somebody is following you or following your dream. So uh, I think this is this explains the the low thumbs up numbers, which is a huge shame. And and I think it's it's easy fixed. I think um, I I think the music is original with without the game. Um, I think it's made in the Dreamiverse, so that, I think that's all fine. It's just that little voiceover at the beginning. I think that might be causing the problem, but. Um, I'm not responsible for the MM picks and um, as an old game now I don't know whether he's missed his opportunity to get an MM pick um, it's possible they could uh, retro uh, give you one but I'm, I'm not, not too sure um, but the game itself um, you play as this Poe character and uh, you start off in a train station where uh, the world is very mysterious it's um, it's night time and it, apparently it's going to be night time for a very long time and um, there are evil demon like um, creatures in the dark that eat your soul so you don't want to encounter those and um, you have to help various people along the way in order to uh, progress through the adventure 
and there's lots of different sets and, and um, collection quests and some combat. There's also a driving sequence where um, you've got to drive around and, uh, um, and find various bits and pieces before you can progress. And it's, um, it's really well made, absolutely beautiful scenery. Um, I mean, they've, they've used the Dreamiverse really well to, to make some absolutely gorgeous sets. And um, it has a wonderful fantasy feel to it. Um, all the character models are excellent. It's interesting that um, at the beginning, um, they introduced like a, a Simlish type style of talking. Uh, which is then abandoned for sort of computer text sounds. Um, I think I quite like the Simlish type stuff, the the voiceover stuff at the beginning, but I'd rather it was consistent. So either put some more Simlish in for the for the rest of the characters that you encounter, or take out the Simlish from the the conductor because he's the only one that talks to you, and and you're the only one that um, uh, the only person that you talk to. So. Um, and I think that's because that was part of the original demo where well, the rest of it was built uh, much later. Um, the, uh, the car sequence is uh, really interesting. Um, the, the car uh, has lots of um, really good controls. It's got some amazing damage um, mechanics inside it. And... Um, and the the track and everything that you follow it really adds to the story it's not too difficult so if you're not it's not like you've got to uh, win a race or anything like that it's just for for, for traveling purpose but it means that you really get to see a nice big open world which and you're not just running around as a character um, there's parts of it where you are on foot and parts of it where you are in the car and and this really works it's uh, it's a, a wonderful uh, an ad adventure that's, uh, that feels open, although it's pretty much um, directed. Um, it does feel like an, uh, a, a partly open world, so you can do what you want to do. Um, you're introduced to some really interesting characters, and there is... Um, so it's all got this sense of slightly odd about it. Um, the first guy you c encounter has got a pet goose. Uh, the second guy has got something in his luggage we don't know what it is but it's obviously alive um the third guy uh, the guard on the gate uh, is wearing um a plague mask um and then the 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 next guy that i met um he's got a moving house a bit like Howl's moving castle and there's this wonderful um sort of robotic house walking around in the field um uh, he's wearing a top hat and stuff so it's really um really interesting characters that you're meeting now the um the text itself i believe the big peer may not be a native english speaker which would explain some of the strange spelling and grammar um in involved um but you can forgive that uh it, it's not a, it's not a deal breaker for this game it's totally understandable and you can uh, you can follow the, the story and what's going on um, but maybe you know he needs to get some an English speaker in there just to to help him with some spell checking and and, and grammar and stuff just to tidy it up a bit but um, the game itself seems to work really well um, I didn't find any major bugs while I was playing there's this there's a problem with the car sometimes uh, where you can sort of get the the camera gets a bit uh, distorted and you end up inside the car a bit but he has explained that in the instructions you just need to press the circle button and it comes out uh, and it's fine after that so he's aware of that one there are these things in dreams that um, you just have to work around um, it's over two hours of play I mean I played it for two hours and I haven't got to the, the point at which he's got to so um i don't know how many hours worth of play there i'm guessing maybe two to three hours is probably about right right now he says he's at 50 percent, so um this is going to be maybe a six five six hour adventure once it's finished 
which is a really decent amount of time for a game in uh, in dreams so i highly recommend this the fourth station um if you don't feel like you want to wait uh, you want to um play it until it's complete then uh, follow the game um you don't have to play it now if you don't want to uh but i still think it's worth worth a go um because it's um really beautifully made and and you get involved in the story it has its own law and everything else and uh, uh, i think it's one of these hidden gems within dreams that you really should check out so uh, i hope you enjoy it this is the fourth station by the big pier thanks for watching and i'll catch you in your dreams